Hello everyone and welcome to Dutch Greybeard. I titled my last book haul Insane Book Haul because I had bought 151 books during the span of 133 days. That's more than one book a day. This book haul I cover 124 days altogether and I bought only 18 books. The last book haul I could make a wall of all the books and I could hide almost completely behind it. This time I bought just 18 books and these are 14 of them. Let's see if I can hold them up like this without letting them fall. So that's a much more healthier amount of books or healthier. Don't know if it's healthier. Uh, it's less. Anyway, it's less. These are 14 and I bought four more and they haven't arrived yet. Let's go over the 18 books I bought from the beginning of June until this first week of October. They are. I already had bought The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and I decided to buy the four others in this series, at least the four that were written by Douglas Adams. There is another one, the sixth, which wraps up the series, if I'm not mistaken. I'm probably not going to buy that one. These are the restaurant, oops, these are the restaurant at the end of the universe. I read this one, liked it rather well. Uh, there's one chapter that's absolutely brilliant and the rest is mwah, okay. The third book in the series is Life, the Universe, and Everything. Read this one. Did not like it at all, I'm afraid. Then number four, So Long and Thanks for All the Fish. Haven't read that one, this one yet. I'm going to read it. I'm definitely going to finish reading the series, but it may take a while before I start reading this one. And the last one in the series, Mostly Harmless. Next, I bought a Brandon Sanderson book, The Arcanum Unbounded. I had to, buy, oh, had to buy this. I wanted to buy this because this fills up the gaps in the whole Cosmere universe. And I'm really eager to read the whole Cosmere universe in the right order. So I've read so far a couple of short stories. And very soon I'm going to start reading The Emperor's Soul. Uh, which is in this volume. I had read the first era of Mistborn and really liked it very much. So I decided to buy the Mistborn era 2. I only bought the first three so far. These are The Alloy of Law, Shadows of Self, The... No, it's not The, the Shadows of Self, The Bands of Mourning, and number four, The Lost Metal, I haven't bought yet because I would really like to have that one also in this mass paperback edition. And the one available at this moment is one of those huge paperbacks, which I don't really like. So then, inspired by Mike's book reviews, who has inspired me more than once, I bought the YA series by Neil Schusterman, Ark of a Scythe. Those are these three beautiful books and they are Scythe, of course, Thunderhead, and The Toll. have not yet started reading this one, but I could begin in this any time. And, well, looking forward to that very much, I must say. Then I bought a standalone, which has received a lot of praise on Booktube. That's Piranesi by Susanna Clarke. This is a short read. It's always easy when you're reading a series like The Wheel of Time, as I'm doing right now at the moment, to have a break and do something lighter or at least shorter. Piranesi. Then I bought my first non-fantasy book of this year, which is Stonehenge by Bernard Cornwell. I heard very good things about this writer. I'm very much intrigued by ancient stone circles and this is supposed to be a historical version of the building of Stonehenge and I'm very curious as to find out what Cornwell has thought up 
of the reasons why people initially built those stone circles, because up until now, we still don't know really. And then the last physical copy I have to show you is Jenny Words to write Hell's Chasm. I'm very, very eager to start reading the series, The Wars of Light and Shadow. I understand that the last uh, book in that series is due to be published next year somewhere. So that series will be finished by then. But I'm very curious about her writing. It's been recommended to me by a lot of very good booktubers. For instance, uh, A Critical Dragon, who is very enthusiastic about her writing style. And I'm sensitive to that. I like good writing styles. So that's the first, the last, not the first, the last physical book I can show you. Yesterday I bought four books. And again, another book that is no fantasy. It's called On God, an uncommon conversation about God by Norman Mailer. I never read Norman Mailer before, but I did read Neil Donald Walsh's books, An Uncommon Dialogue with God. And this is a dialogue that Norman Mailer has with somebody else about God. I'm always curious what people have to say on that subject. Uh, and then I bought a series by Jen Williams. It's called The Copper Cat Trilogy, and it consists of three books, namely The Copper Promise, The Iron Ghost, and The Silver Tide. Um, so that's all I bought in the last 124 days. So I'm very proud of myself that I didn't buy many, many more books as I would have liked to. As soon as I've read one of these books or series, I'll put out a review. But I don't have a lot of time. I still work. Some people seem to believe that I'm retired already. I know the gray hair might give you that idea, but well, I still have to work for my money. And at the moment, it's very busy, which is a good thing because I'm happy. I have the work, but... On the other hand, I'm not able to put out as much videos as I would like. At the moment, I'm almost done reading the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. So that's going to be my first review, or as I prefer to call them, a reading experience. When that will be published on YouTube, I don't dare to say. I still have to finish reading it, then making the video, editing. There's a lot of work going into these videos. I like making them, and I'm rambling right now. So stop rambling. Thank you very much for watching this video. Until we meet again at Dutch Greybeard.